So, hey, Alexa, for Urban News, and I'm currently in Montreal, uh, St. Leonard, because a um, protest will happen today. People are there today to protest against the inflation and the cost of life. So, it's a phenomenon that is happening all around the world. And as you know, at this moment, in Netherlands, a big protest of farmer is happening, and that will have some consequences here and probably all the other country around the world as well. Because Netherlands is one of the biggest exportation country. So I'm here today to talk with the protesters and ask them how the inflation is affecting their budget and what they are thinking about the protest of the farmer in Netherlands. Let's check it out. How the inflation is affecting your budget, your life. It's affecting me every single day because this is unexpected. Uh, it's ridiculous to because salaries are not going up, but everything is going up. So it doesn't work when that happens. So my salary stays the same. Gas prices are going up. Groceries are going up. So it's going to affect me and it's going to affect everybody. That this is what's not fair. This is going to kill everybody. Est-ce que vous trouvez que cette manifestation là, comparativement, je sais qu'il y a d'autres auparavant que vous avez été moins d'accord. Est-ce que celle là, vous êtes d'accord avec? Bien, si ça reste dans les limites de ce, que vous, ce qui est supposé se faire aujourd'hui, oui. C'est légitime, là. Il n'y a personne qui va dire... En tout cas, moi, je n'irai jamais dire... Gang, regarde la gang de Bozo qui se plaint que le prix du gaz a augmenté. Regarde la gang de Bozo qui se plaint que le loyer a augmenté. Ça me touche. C'est sûr que c'est légitime, là. On est quand même le troisième pays mondial en production de, de gaz, de pétrole. Puis euh, malgré ça, qu'on soit le troisième pays au monde, euh, on paye, on, on est dans ceux qui sont les plus chers. Hein? Euh, moi, personnellement, j'ai cinq enfants, fait que je le vois sur ma facture d'épicerie qui a grimpé énormément. On, déjà, avant la pandémie, on, on arrivait à, à juste bien vivre. Depuis la pandémie, on survit. Puis là, avec cette inflation-là, on en arrache. Là, on cherche à joindre les bouts, puis ça n'arrive pas. Yeah, with the same amount of money in my salary, I can no longer do the same thing than I used to. Uh, like with the with the gas, I pay a lot of money in gas. Uh, I have I have to drive a lot, and it makes everything difficult. We can no longer eat the same thing uh, in, at the supermarket. Yes, uh, sure. Inflation is affecting everything. We uh, everything costs more, and all the little money that anybody did save in life. It's costing them on these extras that this government decided to impose on us for no reason. Mm -hmm. All these rules and this draconian and everything, I don't know, it's hard to explain exactly what they're doing, but at the end of the day, it's wrong. On veut juste savoir pourquoi vous êtes joint à, à cette manifestation. Ah, ce qui se passe, euh, le loyer, c'est tellement cher en ce moment, c'est difficile pour les autres personnes. Mais moi, en ce moment, je n'arrive pas au niveau, là, les, les propriétaires, on dirait qu'ils abusent. So we see that the inflation is touching everybody, all citizens. And for once, we saw people applaud for them and as well joining the movement and joining the protests. That is never seen before. This is incredible. On voit qu'il y a eu une manifestation en ce moment aux Pays-Bas, euh, en Hollande, des fermiers qui ont eu des nouvelles régulations pour les émissions de carbone et d'azote. Donc, qu'est-ce que vous pensez de, de, de cette rébellion-là là, qui se passe en ce moment? Je pense que ce soulèvement-là est important. Les gens doivent dénoncer ça. Les, les producteurs euh, locaux ne doivent pas descendre leur... Euh... La production, mais selon moi, les... si c'est possible de les augmenter pour qu'on puisse manger plus sainement tout le monde. Là. Si par rapport qu'ils doivent réduire leur effet d'émission puis de carbone, ils doivent réduire leur production, ils vont exporter moins de produits. Euh, donc on en a moins ici. Quand que les produits sont plus en demande, on sait que les prix augmentent. Donc euh, c'est sûr que ça, ça vient jouer encore une fois sur l'inflation. So as you can see, my second question about the big protest of the farmer in Netherlands seems that people doesn't know a lot about it because mainstream media are not covering it. But please, you need to know what is going on there. So please go to farmerrebellion.com and please get yourself informed because the repercussion of what is happening there will happen everywhere in the world. We 
see in the Netherlands, they have like a big farmer protest against the new regulation for the nitrogen and carbon emission. That will impact the industry as well for the farm produce because it's one of the biggest exporters of farm produce. Um, what do you think about this? Well, uh, it's uh, what I think I, it's part of the, the Great Reset Plan is to stop all food production so that the world can get all on one page. And, uh, and the reality is, the way I see it, we get rid of the little people so that the big people can have a better life. On dirait qu'il y a une pénurie qui est en train de, de se faire orchestrer. Je suis content pour les Hollandais qui se soulèvent. I think they're doing great, and I think this is that we need that type of spirit over here in Canada. And I think it's going to come. I think it's going to come. They were inspired by the convoy truck movement, and I think we slowed down. But I think that that spirit needs to come back. And whatever whatever is happening in Netherlands, the whole world, including us, is going to get inspired by that. So it's a question of time. It's going to come here. And uh, do you think that the, that will impact our inflation as well? Uh, hopefully it will, because by doing that, probably they're going to see the pressure, they're going to feel the pressure, and hopefully that's that's the goal. Are you ready to trade your meat for bugs? Never. Never, never, never. Bugs is not the solution. Échanger votre viande pour manger des insectes. Ouais, n'importe quoi. Je suis prêt, je suis prêt à tout. Are you willing to trade your meat for bugs? No. Oh no, I cannot do that. No, 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 no. There's no way I'm eating bugs. Uh, no, not really. I grow my own meat and I'll grow my own vegetables and they could eat the bugs. If they want, there's enough for them. All of them, they could eat everything that they want. So as you know, in Netherlands, a lot of farmers are raising their voice against the new regulation of the nitrogen and carbon emission. Some of our reporters, Lincoln J and Lewis Brackpool are there to report the other side of the story. So if you want to know everything about it, go to farmerrebellion.com and on this website, you can see all their report and as well, you can chip in to encourage their coverage, their travel expense and their honest journalism. Thank you.